Hello, this is Jason. Today we're going to be upgrading the RAM on a really cool Acer Aspire 1 netbook. It's a brand new netbook. Let me show you right here. It's called the D257. Okay, it has Windows 7 on it. Pretty nice little machine. Let me show you a boot up. This is currently with 1, gigs of, RAM, one gig of RAM. Now, the RAM that this computer uses is DDR3. 8500. So it's going to do system resume back into that. DDR3 8500. Two gig stick right here. It currently has a very small one gig stick in there because that's what they come with in Mesa. So now we're going to show it off. It's Windows 7, so you know, we can just hold down the power button for four seconds and it shuts right off. Okay, so let me unplug it. It doesn't necessarily need to always be plugged in, but I like to keep them plugged in sometimes. So, first things, flip it over. We're going to take out the battery. There's the battery. Next, basically the RAM is right here. We need to take this panel off right there. Now, in order to get this panel off, there are some screws that are holding it on. But, Acer, in their genius, they keep those screws underneath the keyboard. So in order to get to that, we need to remove the keyboard. To get to the keyboard, we need to remove these little tabs right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, you have to be careful, because if you use your fingernails and you pull up on these keys, you're going to actually remove one of the keys on accident. Pretty good chance. So. What I normally do is check a little card and stick it in there to get a little bit of leverage. Something firm enough, like an like old credit card or something. And this is actually one of the most difficult parts because you never want to scratch the client's computer. Okay. So we need the camera so you see it very good. And this is um, some sort of discount card I got from some store. I don't really know what it is, but that's okay. Here we go. So, slid them all the way across, got them out. Now this is held on by a little, little itty bitty ribbon. Now you can take that ribbon out, but you don't necessarily need to take it out. So there's, right here in itty bitty writing, it says door. So I'm going to take off all of the ones that say door. One, two, this one doesn't say door, so we'll skip it. Three, and there's one right here, I don't know if it says door or not, because it has this tape over it, so let me uh, move that tape real quick to see if it says door. Well, it doesn't say door, so I'll leave that tape right there. Next, this one. Now, if you notice, right here on the actual hard drive enclosure, in stamped in there in metal, in really small print, it says door release. And there's an arrow pointing at this black thing down there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this over here, and I'm going to stab that black thing. Oh, feels good. <laughs> okay, now we just hope that we got all of them. Okay. So it is holding a little. Let me just pull. Okay, good. Got the door off. Very simple. So now it's just a simple RAM upgrade, just like any other computer. Yeah. 
Let me put the keyboard back and we'll close the screen. And flip it over. Before we, um, one of my things that I always like to do before I close up the computer is I always like to at least test it once. Huh. Battery's a little hard to align. It's interesting. Actually, I don't know if this battery has any power left in it. Because the user brought it in completely dead, which is why it was charging. <laughs> All right, boots right up. All right, let's hit control bleed. Off two. So, right, let's make sure we have enough RAM. There it is. Total video memory, 2048, which means, let me show you a little bit here. Okay. Total video memory, 2048 megabytes. That means we have enough RAM. Okay, we're done. Flip it back over. Put the panel back on. In now there were a few tabs over here. I know everybody loves those tabs. Ooh. So, you do need to put a pretty substantial amount of force on this to get this out. I mean, that was probably a good 10 pounds I was pressing into that. Let's flip it over. Now, if you did this correctly, you should have five screws. They are all the exact same length and size, so you can put them in in any particular order. Last one's number five. Put the keyboard down here in the bottom, hold it down as you push it in, and you push it in, press all five of the things, and now we're done. Very excellent. Put it back in, turn her on, wait a few seconds. So, my name is Jason Dragon. I own a company called Emerald Computers, and we fix computers. That's about it. This is an Acer Aspire 1 D5, uh, D257, just upgraded from 1 gig of DDR3 8500 RAM to 2 gigs of DDR3 8500 RAM. Pretty good. And Windows is loading. Of course, it's Windows 7. We'll see how long it takes. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.